A few months ago, I posted a holy grail skincare video, and of course I included a ton of products from my own brand, Naturium, because I love my products. I have a, a, obviously a deep passion for them. I know exactly how they were made, and some of them were actually made because they were products that I personally wanted, but I understand that people wanna know what holy grail products I have out there that are not my brand also. So this video is gonna be all skincare holy grails that are not part of my brand. Holy grail number one. I don't think this one's gonna be a surprise at all. It is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. For all of my OGs, the people that have stuck with me for years and years, the people that learned the double cleanse with me, we all know. I don't even think I really need to explain my love for the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, the original. This isn't the first cleansing balm that I ever used or the first cleansing oil you know, that I ever used. I had learned about the double cleanse before that. I'd used other oil-based cleansers before it, but this was the cleansing balm that really hooked me, that got me to love the double cleanse. It's a really rich oil. It has this beautiful spa experience with this, like the scent of it as well, which is also sometimes the complaint that I hear from people, but for me personally, I love that rich texture of it. I loved how it worked on my skin. I have personally purchased a couple of jars of it, but also when I get jars of it in like PR and stuff, I'm still just as excited to use the LMS Cleansing Balm. I love it so much. It is a rich, luxurious experience, and sometimes that's what I want from a cleansing balm. If I'm going for like a, a beautiful, just indulgent nighttime skincare routine, then that is still a cleansing balm that I love and that I constantly reach for. Next is the Dr. Surical Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. I love this essence, like love it with a deep passion. And I was actually just thinking to myself the other day that I hadn't purchased it in a long time. For some reason, I hadn't used essences in my skincare routine for a long time, but I think now that it's getting colder outside, I suddenly want all this hydration. I've been traveling a lot. Whenever I'm like, I need more hydration. I always think of essences. If you haven't used it, it's a cream essence hybrid. It's a biphase product. So it has like two different kinds of layers and you mix it together. And when you use it on your skin, it feels so nice. It's by far one of my favorite essences. And I would absolutely call this a holy grail. I love this. I don't think you need an essence in your skincare routine, but I love this one. It is so good. Next up, I'm gonna go into serums. This one really is not a surprise. I've talked about it so many times. It's like the first vitamin C serum I ever used, and that is the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. I think I might be even more partial to the Floritin these days, like as I've gotten older and I realized I had melasma to deal with and everything, but truly the first vitamin C serum that I ever used was the SkinCeuticals, and it's still a vitamin C serum that I recommend and that I personally like to use. There have been so many different vitamin C serums to come out on the market, but I feel like there still is nothing like the SkinCeuticals. I do think that there are some better technologies now with encapsulation, with micro sponge technology. There are so many other ways to ensure that stability of your ascorbic acid. But when it comes to the OG and the way that they formulated this product, I still think that this is one of the best vitamin C serums on the market. The CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals has a patent on it. It's one of the reasons why it is like the leader in the vitamin C serums. It's also the first one, really. It really is the brand that started this whole entire trend. And it was the first brand that really educated me on the importance of combining your antioxidants, your vitamin C, with your sunscreen to get that really good efficacy to really protect your skin. Next, it's by Vichy. This is the Mineral 89 Prebiotic Concentrate. I think that this stuff is amazing. I go through bottles of this. I'm not the kind of person to tell you that you need a separate hyaluronic acid serum or anything, but this one is really beautiful. It has a prebiotic in here that really just makes it a nice hydrating and nourishing serum. I use this whenever my skin is starting to feel a little bit irritated, and this really does help it out. It contains the Vichy mineral water in it as well. You know, say what you will about the mineral water in, in France, but some people or like, it's just water. I don't know. There is something about the minerals that you get from the mineral water from places like Vichy. So I love this product. It is so straightforward and simple, but sometimes that's all you want. And this is a really great product from Vichy. Next up, again, if you've been with me for a long time, this one will not be a surprise. It is the Verso Super Facial Serum. This is my first 
true retinol that I ever used. I had used tretinoin before, but I'd never had just a just a regular retinol in my skincare routine. I was always so scared to use retinol before I picked this one up. I felt like I was just gonna get irritated because I had had such a bad experience with tretinoin because the first time I ever used tretinoin, I was like given no directions on how to use it. So I immediately got red and irritated and dry, flaky skin. So I was so scared that retinol was gonna do that to my skin as well. I also think when it comes to retinols, We've been taught to like only use them if you have really severe acne or if you are aging, like you're really getting old and you're seeing like severe aging on your skin. But it turns out, you know, like as we're learning more and more about skincare, it turns out you can start retinol pretty early on in your life. If you're a teen, you don't need it for anti-aging, but it is great if you do have acne. And then obviously as you get a little bit older, using a retinol at nighttime is just gonna give you your best skin. Retinol is a great ingredient in skincare. And if you haven't tried it, do not be scared to use retinol. And that was the reason why I picked this one up. I was so scared to add retinol into my skincare routine. It's so funny to think back and remember that I was scared of retinol, which like, it's just, it's crazy to say that because I love retinol now. It's one of those ingredients that I just like, this is what I push on people all the time. I'm like, retinol, you need a retinol in your life, some kind of a retinoid in your life. So retinol is an ingredient that falls into the family of retinoids. This one is really, really gentle. They use their own kind of like proprietary retinoid complex in here. And the way that they have it formulated, it just gives you this really nice, experience with your retinol. You see a real change with your skin. It gives you more youthful, glowier skin. It makes your skin feel like it's plumper. You see a difference. I started using this and I couldn't believe how much of a difference I saw with my skin. I go back to it all the time. Anytime somebody's like, do you have a really, really gentle retinol that you recommend that's gonna give you an actual change to your skin? This is the one, it is so good. I still use this, even though I've graduated, I guess, to stronger retinoids in my skincare routine. This is still one that I pull out. Anytime I tell people to try this out, give it like a month, you will love this stuff. It is such a good retinol. Next up, P20, sun care for kids. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I talk about this all the time. I went to London like three times this past year. I'm probably gonna go back a few more times this upcoming year because my brand did launch at Space and K. Yes, you can get Natrium in the UK at Space and K, UK, Ireland, all of Europe. It's amazing. But one thing that I go and pick up every time I'm in the UK is my P20 Sun Care for Kids. They also have a version that's just like for sensitive skin. I also love that one. This is what I use daily on my own children. The reason why I like this so much is because it is SPF 50. 50 plus, they like specify, it's like very high sun protection. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen, but what I love about it is that it protects for 10 hours. And if you don't know this, I've said this actually a few times, you cannot send sunscreen to school with your kids and expect them to put it on your kids. They're not allowed to because in the United States, it's considered a drug. So they're not allowed to just like administer sunscreen to your kids. It sounds kind of crazy to think that, but they're not allowed to in the United States. So if you want your kids to wear sunscreen every single day, I lived in Los Angeles. I now live in Miami. Sunscreen is a must every single day for my kids. They spend so much time outside and no one's putting sunscreen on them. I put like their baseball caps in their backpack too. No one puts their baseball caps on them. They go outside with no protection. So every single morning I put this on my kids. It also lasts in water for up to three hours. So I know that if they're like sweating, if they're doing some kind of a water activity, the chances are they're still gonna have that sun protection. So this stuff is really great. I buy bottles and bottles of it. I have it stocked up in my home. I never run out of this stuff because I love it for my children. But because it's so good, I also use it on myself. If I go to the beach, I have lots of different sunscreens that I've tried and that I you know, consistently cycle through because I want to try them. But I always go back to this one because again, it lasts longer. I never get any sunburn when I wear this. And it's more water resistant than a lot of the other sunscreens that I've used. And I also just love the texture of it, the way it looks, the way it feels, the finish, everything about it. It doesn't burn my eyes. My kids don't complain about it. This is my favorite sunscreen for the entire family. Another sunscreen that I really love is actually a US sunscreen. It is the Elta MD UV Clear, specifically the tinted. I also love the one that is not tinted, but this one, the tinted one, I love this stuff, mostly because it makes my skin look perfect. I think it only comes in one shade, so it's not a universal product, but 
For the people that it looks good on, that are like right in the middle, it looks like I don't have any makeup on, but it really gives me that like beautiful, flawless look to my skin. It's a hybrid sunscreen. It has a mix of chemical filters and also zinc oxide in it. I just think it's amazing. It protects well, it's SPF 46. The way that they formulated it, it's also good for acne prone skin, for instance. It has high purity niacinamide in it. You guys know I love niacinamide. This is just an outstanding sunscreen. And anytime I use it, I'm like, oh, that's right, I love this sunscreen. It is so good. Next up, this one's a little bit random. It's a little less skincare and more underarm care. It is the Agent Nature X Shiva Rose deodorant. I love this stuff. I am not one of those people that's like, you have to switch to a natural deodorant. When I know I'm gonna be sweaty and I need to have that protection, I will go for your good old secret or you know Dove antiperspirant. I'm all about it. But for just on a day-to-day -day basis, I really love this one. I personally love the fragrance that it has. It is a rose scent. It's a beautiful rose scent. When you start to warm up, you smell it. So it's almost like a perfume, like a really gentle perfume. I actually started using this because when I was first pregnant with Nikosh, my first pregnancy, I was so sensitive to fragrance, but I wanted to still smell good. So I just couldn't wear like perfume or be around perfume, but I could wear this. And I noticed that I would get like just enough fragrance that it wasn't overwhelming for me and I liked the way I smelled. So I just fell in love with this stuff. It seems really like nourishing for my underarm area too. Like if you ever feel like your underarms are irritated from shaving and stuff, this feels really nice under your arms. I buy this all the time. Lately I've been getting it from Derm Store, but you can get it in different places. It-s a great natural deodorant. Next up, the Alpha H Beauty Sleep Power Peel. This one like freaked me out when I first read it. I was like, this is gonna be way too intense for my skin because it has 14% glycolic acid in it. That's a high percentage of glycolic acid, but it also has 0.5% retinol in it. So the combination, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna burn my face off. And it turned out to be amazing, like amazing. It does not feel stingy on my skin. It feels nice and nourishing for my face. Every time I wear it as a sleeping mask, I put on like on top of even my moisturizer, I'll do my entire skincare routine, put on my moisturizer, then apply this, like a nice even layer on my skin. And I wake up the next morning with the softest skin. It is soft, it's smooth, it's plump, it's nourished. And it's like, what have I been missing all these years? This is an amazing product. People, you know, like, like me, will get scared when they see this combination of a really high percentage glycolic acid, any kind of exfoliant with a retinol, but I'm telling you, they formulated this to be perfectly matched and it works so well on your skin. It also comes in like a little tube, so it's really easy to use. It's easy to travel with as well. I find that I can use it a few times a week and my skin does not get irritated with this product. It is a beautiful sleeping cream that gives you so many more benefits for your skin. If you're a person that likes a one and done product and you like to just knock it out, you don't wanna have to have like several different steps, this is a really good multi-purpose product. Next, the La Roche-Posay Telerian Ultra Moisturizer is absolutely a holy grail. This is a moisturizer that I've said that I travel with. I use on my skin when it's feeling very irritated, whenever I'm super dry. This is just a really good go-to moisturizer that I know will not irritate my skin. Anytime a product claims to be great for sensitive skin or you know allergy prone skin or tested on people that are allergy prone or have sensitive skin, you know, you have to take that with a little bit of a grain of salt because no matter what, no matter how much testing they've done, you don't really know if you're gonna be like that one person out that like has some kind of an experience, right? Your skin is so personal and there's always no telling what might happen with your skin, but this one truly has been a good solid go-to whenever I have irritated skin. I think one of the reasons for that is because the preservative system is actually in the packaging. They made sure to formulate this without any ingredients that are known allergens or that are known to irritate the skin. So if you're one of those people that truly has super sensitive skin, you just got a treatment done. That's actually another time that I like to use this as well. You just got some kind of in-office treatment done, a laser, a chemical peel, microneedling. This is a really great moisturizer to have on hand because you're not gonna experience, or at least in my personal experience, you're not going to get that tingle no matter what. This is one of those moisturizers that really is just great all around for any skin type, for any sensitivity, post any procedure. This is the moisturizer that I go for. This also contains La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water, very similar to the Vichy Spring Water. 
like you're kind of getting the same kind of minerals. They're all kind of from like the same mountain, same region. You know, it's that same kind of concept. I dig it, I'm all about it. It also has glycerin, it has dimethicone. You don't even notice that silicone-y feeling. So if you hear the word dimethicone, don't worry about it. It does not have like a silicone type feeling. It just feels super soothing for the skin. And then it also has a type of peptide in it that's also known to be very hydrating and soothing for the skin. This is a beautiful moisturizer. It's just a mid-weight moisturizer too, so it's not gonna be super heavy, it's not gonna be super light. It is a perfect moisturizer. And then the last two Holy Grail products are from Tan Lux. Again, if you're not new here, if you've been around for a while, you know I am a stan for some of these Tan Lux products. I've used a lot of Tan Lux products, but the two that I use the absolute most are the Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. That's by far the one I use the most. It just feels like a, a really easy serum to use. You use it like you would like a hyaluronic acid serum. I put it on right after I wash my face. If you use like a liquid exfoliant or an essence, put it on after you use one of those. Then I just go in with any of my other serums. I don't ever worry that it's gonna look blotchy or streaky or anything like that because it's a a very natural looking glow that it gives your skin. So I just really like it because it's not changing my skin tone or anything like that. It's just giving me a nice, healthy, even glow to my skin. I love this stuff. It's so easy to add in and I can use it every single day and I don't feel like it gives me too much color. The other one is the Tan Luxe, the Body Illuminating Self Tan Drops. This one is made specifically for the body. I actually use it on my face as well and I've never had any problems, no breakouts, no clogged pores, nothing like that, no irritation. I love this one. I travel with it because I feel like I can just get my face and my body all in one. The thing that I love about it the most is that it comes in two different shades. You can go like light medium or medium dark. I tend to use the light medium because I don't feel like I need a ton of color. But what I really like about it is it has more of like an oil nourishing feel to it. You put as many drops as you want into your moisturizer or your serum. So I'll put like a quarter of a dropper, just like a few drops for like my face moisturizer. And then I'll put it on and it gives me a nice, beautiful color to my skin. And then for my body, I'll actually like use like dropper full. So I'll do like a blob of lotion, put a dropper full onto it, mix it together, then do like my leg. And then I'll do the same thing for my other leg and then like for my torso and then like another dropper full for both my arms, and like my chest area. And it gives me the most perfect color. It's one of those sunless tanners that you have to make sure you wash off your hands pretty quickly. Otherwise you can get that, that like Oompa Loompa look on the palms of your hands, which you do not want. But I do find, I actually had it like a couple of days ago. I was like, oh gosh, I thought I rinsed this better. I actually do find like the longer you keep it, the more chances of it turning a little bit more orangey. So when it's like a fresh, fresh bottle, the color is perfect and you get less chance of getting it on your hands. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's like the color is like oxidizing or something. I have no idea as it's like getting older and older, but it's easy to travel with. It's really versatile. Like I said, I use it for my face as well, but you can get the face one. I just like to just have this one bottle because it's easy to incorporate. So those are my non-naturium holy grails. I hope this video was helpful. Obviously ask me any questions in the comments below. I was trying to think like, are there any cleansers out there? Not cleansing oils or cleansing balms, but cleansers out there that you guys have heard me talk about over and over and over again that are not naturium and I cannot think of one. I love my naturium cleansers, so I cannot think of something that I've used for a long, long time. I used to always use the fresh soy cleanser and I actually do hoard it. Like I actually have two bottles of it sitting in my closet right now that I definitely have to pop open and I'd be very happy about it. But I guess I go through so many different cleansers that I can't think of a holy grail right now. But if there's something that you're like, no, this is a holy grail for you, Susan. You got me turned on this and I love it so much. Let me know in the comments below. Let me also know what holy grail products you have because I'm always open to trying more stuff, reviewing things and also just being reminded that there are these other products out there. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Find me on Instagram, I'm at Susan Yara, and I'll talk to you soon.